Ooh. <clears throat> All right, we're on the air. I want, to welcome, I want to welcome everybody into the Fifth Dimension podcast. And it's on the show today, we have a returning guest, the one and only Howie Spangler. Howie, hey. thanks for coming on the show, man. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's a pleasure. And, uh, you know, I think it's been, what, six or seven months since the last time we talked. The world's looking a little bit different, to say the wow. least. <laughs> I don't know. What, what year is it? <laughs> what, 20, 2020, I think. I think it's still 2020. <laughs> Uh, craziness man i mean how have uh so yeah you're, you're a musician so and this is sort of like normally tour season isn't it like so how has sort of been i mean what's been your sort of focus with quarantine and everything going on in the pandemic i mean we might be hopefully approaching the end of it soon but how's the last few months been looking for you you know honestly i'm busier than i've ever been wow <laughs> it's uh i mean but in a in a good way you know um I just, I think, uh, the, the strong survive, the strong uh, adapt, you know, um, I like to think that I'm, I'm one of the strong ones. Um, and you know, you gotta find, you gotta find a way, you know, yeah. there's, there's always a way I think. And, um, the, the, the driven will, will find it. And, um, you know, I, I see, I see a bands working, um, I see artists, you know, out there, like giving their fans something to, to, to watch because it's much needed, I think. Mm-hmm. Watch, listen to, whatever, whatever the format is. Um, giving them content, I guess we should say. Yeah. And then I see other artists not doing anything. And that's weird to me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it, to me, it's, uh, uh, I look at it as, as you know, we're here, <clears throat> we're here, because the fans allow us to be here um you know obviously i can make music for the rest of my life you know for myself and that'd be fine um but if you if you're trying to you know make it or or you know uh make a career out of it you know and ultimately monetize and live off of it you know your fans are the ones that make that happen um and when when we have uh a pandemic and people are freaking out and stressed out and they need a way to escape. <clears throat> you know, I think it's, I think we need to go harder and, and for, for ourselves and for them, I think, uh, it keeps everybody sane, you know, right. and, um, to, to see, uh, uh, you know, artists not doing anything. It, it's strange to me. It's like, do you love this? Right. I thought you love this. I thought, right to do with your life and um you know ultimately it's like we make music or or whatever art for ourselves um but now you have this legion of fans that that kind of count on you to to take them away and right i don't know i just recognize that and again i'm i'm not at the same time i'm not worried about what anybody else is doing i'm just going to keep making sure that we're putting out content and uh, staying on top and staying in the conversation. 100%. And you, uh, you guys have done a good job of that. Like I've noticed sort of the, uh, you know, following you and Ballyhoo on Instagram, there's a lot of fan engagement. There's a lot of content you're putting out. You guys have had some live shows that you've done, uh, live stream shows. And, you know, I think you're right. People sort of need that. Um, it's like It's like community in a way. It's like communal, like coming together around like the art form and around the music and you know we don't have the ability to go to shows right now we don't have the ability to go out and just be with people as we normally would and bond over things like music and art and you guys have been there for i mean you guys have been a band for what almost 20 years at this point actually we just hit 25 25 congratulations (laughs) that's a uh, quarter of a century right there (laughs) Twenty-five years ago we started this band in my mom's basement. <laughs> Fantastic. So you guys have been around for 25 years and we're at a point where, great, we like need, need the music, need the art, need that community more than ever. So to see you guys step up like that, it's, it's pretty inspiring. I mean, I take note and I, th- I know other people take note and it, I think it gives a deeper level of appreciation, not only for what you're doing now, but for the work that you've done over the past 20, 25 years. 
you know, because it is uh, shows your authenticity in a way. Yeah, That's man, I, I just love it too much. You know, I, I love um, I love performing. I love uh, being on stage and uh, creating um, and and. You know, I, I was so I was really into the radio as a kid, um, and I think maybe that's where my melodic sensibility comes from. Uh, when I write, I write things that I would like to hear on the radio or, or now, you know, Spotify mm -hmm. playlists. Cause that's, right. <laughs> um, and uh, let me turn off these. Uh, do not disturb. Get out of here. Popular right. guy. <laughs> this email is flying. A little phone call. Jesus, stop. Everybody stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is me all day long. It's just text and call and email and just, you know. I don't know how you get anything done. <laughs> I got to get up early. I'm starting to get up early. Um, uh, I, just, I love making things, man. And, and uh, the pandemic just makes me go harder, um, you know, because there's all this time, you know, like, yeah. look, I'm actually – I, you have to see the good in things. You got, you have to see the positive. Um, you know, it's a sucky time right now, you know, uh, but it doesn't have to be so bad. You know, you take the time to, to learn a new skill or, um, you know, do something that you've been wanting to do for a while and been putting off. Uh, you know, for me, it's, it's like, Oh, I need to crank out more videos. I need, need to do more podcasts. I need to, you know, work on more projects with bands and the, the, the project side, like me, like working on my mixing and producing and stuff, all that stuff, that's kind of taken a, um, uh, the, the, the driver's seat lately. Um, I'm, uh, and you know, everything else is sort of shotgun. And, um, I've just been really trying to like work on being a better producer and a, and a mixer and, um, uh, because I, I want to take on more artists, you know, and develop artists and uh, help right. put out the best shit they've ever put out um, and kind of grow that uh, because I see myself becoming a, a record producer. Like I am a record producer, but like I, I want that to be like Ballyhoo and like record producer. Like right. I want that John Feldman life. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying like I want to I want to uh, have the band and go out and do shows and put out music because I love that, but I also want to make records. And, um, right. and, uh, I just, I just really enjoy it. I, I love, um, I love editing drums and I, that yeah. I sounds so nerdy. Like that's, it's actually like one of the worst jobs is editing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason I just, I, I kind of get off on it. Um, and maybe at some point when, when it grows, I can get like a, a, a second engineer working with mm -hmm. me those kinds of things but because i really like to focus on the production side and getting getting uh the artists to sound the best they can and um just put out good shit so <clears throat> that's kind of what i've been doing and like my youtube stuff is kind of you know the youtube and the podcast have kind of been suffering to that i'll admit you know mm -hmm. um and so i i've been trying to get better about doing more more episodes of the, of the pod and um you know, I, I've actually been kind of struggling on things to talk about. You know, it's like I only want to talk about things that that I know, uh, you know, pretty well, right. um, and that's uh, that kind of holds me back. Cause I'm like, I said a bunch of things, and I don't want to say the things, same things over and over again. Um, but lately, I've I've had some topics come up, and I'm like, you know, that'd be fun to talk about um, for for an hour, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to think of other guests and things. I've been reaching out to some of my friends that are songwriters and producers and such. So that'll, um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that'll, that'll happen a little more frequently. Right. Right. It's all about finding that balance, man. That's all it, it is. is man. Definitely finding that balance. And, you know, I've kind of found I th something that I remember us talking about on the last episode. It's almost, I guess, prophetic in a way is how do you use your time? And like, well, what are you, like, what are you doing to sort of like, you know, you're talking about all of these things and, you know, wanting to be, record producer and you got the podcast and you know there's all these different avenues and it's it's like you got a, a million different things to attend to but you're still doing the work you're still putting in the work to uh, you know be who you want to be and do what you want to do and you're using this like silver lining of a situation with the quarantine to put in the work and be the best version of who you want to be you know fo follow your purpose because i think you sort of realize what it is that you you found what it is that you want to do 
and you know just putting in the work towards that and i think that in itself you know it's it's a journey like you're not going to become the number the world's number one record producer overnight necessarily but you know <laughs> it's about it's about that grind it's about that journey and i think this quarantine could be an opportunity for a lot of people I think a lot of people don't even necessarily know what that purpose might be for themselves, what it is that they want to do. So it, it could have been, it, I mean, we're so far into it at this point, I would hope people have started to already engage with this, but it is an opportunity to just explore a bunch of different shit, create things, like try out different avenues. Like I've been do, trying to do that with my podcast and with writing and with just branching into all these different subjects, like poetry. Like I did, I wrote a song for the first time, like just, just crazy stuff. So it's, it's, it's like a time for exploration in a way you can, you can find that silver lining in such a, a time where there is almost a lot of collective suffering and chaos. So It's all about perception, man. You know, how you perceive the world around you how you perceive the things that are happening to you. Things that are happening to you are happening to everybody. So mm -hmm. don't make yourself special. You're not unique um, in that sense. You know, we all go through things and it's all about how you deal with it and, and uh, others deal with it better than other people. So it's, it's like, um, you know, if you, can, if you can start with a positive mindset, I, I try, to, <clears throat> try, try to, like recently I've been trying to say to people that, you know, don't, don't look at your phone first thing in the morning like yeah, yeah. let's go 20 30 minutes without looking at your phone just get up take a shower or whatever it is you do whatever your morning routine is go downstairs make your coffee you know i, I put the dishes away make coffee uh mm -hmm. listen to my my echo uh i can't say her name because she'll come on <laughs> um the uh you know the the flash briefing the news and stuff i have my own custom like yeah my, my nerd news and shit um <clears throat> And, uh, you know, I, I, I try to stay away from the phone um, because it's just bad news all the time. You know, it's yep. just, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, it, 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 like I said, mindset is everything. And, and uh, excuse me, if you can go at it in a positive, um, it kind of sets the tone for the day. If you start right away with some bad news or uh, a, a text from someone that is pissed at you or, or whatever it's just you know it just puts you in that funk for the rest of the day and it's hard to climb out um and you know it's like when a pandemic happens you know comply so we can get things done quicker mm -hmm. you know we can get through it quicker uh we don't have to go into all that but <laughs> right <laughs> you know um but yeah that we're gonna, we're gonna do we have to do things that we don't like sometimes and this is one of those times nobody likes wearing a fucking mask but uh so you know you can you can do those things but but then use the time you know mm -hmm. if you're not working right now use the time go online there's free courses on youtube you know youtube university i like to call it yeah um learn how to do something i think i think people don't don't believe they can do something mm, right i would agree you know what i'm saying like i feel like people don't uh they they get hung up on themselves they get hung up on on fear yeah. um and you know what are people going to think and uh there's no way i could do that i'm never going to make money from this uh why should i waste my time things like that and like even even now like i, I can i can say all this stuff but i get that depressive sort of feeling sometimes where i'll be in the middle of something and i'll 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 stop myself because i'm like why am i even doing this what right. what is the point of this no one's going to care you know and and when i know people care you know but there's that weird cloudiness that happens. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, whether that's stop and take a break, go do something else, go do something that's completely unrelated, you know, go, go play resident evil for a couple hours. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I just try to be, I try to just stay busy and working and, um, make, make stuff like get the, get the scratch the itch, get the, get the, um, your creativity out there i don't know and that that keeps me happy and sane you know absolutely well obviously but <laughs> definitely i mean it's you know being able to create i think is i relate in a sense is what keeps me sane too like i love creating podcasts and i love writing and i love doing all these like different outlets that i've been able to find during quarantine even though the 
idea of like normalcy is completely out the window at this point. Like what are, like we, we kind of have a, an ability to construct our own reality right now in a sense, like it, like our own individual, like if we're not working, like we can construct what it is we want to do and put ourselves to a purpose. And I, I definitely agree with there's a sense of a lack of belief in people like people have in themselves. And like, I, I think we're sort of taught to follow a specific, uh, you know, narrative in life and oh, follow, God. you know, follow the specific role like we're supposed to play and anything outside of that be like the beliefs like creativity doesn't fall into that like we're all sort of just taught to be uh, subservient to society's role I guess you could say I mean you got to talk about that in your new album and I think you know fighter talks about that you know I, I pick up your your album is almost prophetic in a way too because of the message that it's sending and i think that's a message a lot of people need to hear you know having a belief in ourselves a willingness to look outside the the norms you know look find our passions find our callings if you will um so i what i mean what sort of what's what have you had to let how, how did you sort of get into this role yourself like because i most i don't think most people find this has it just been through sticking to music and not giving up that belief and knowing that you know this is your calling i know we talked a little bit about sort of your journey on the last episode but like uh, d- how would you speak to that i suppose <clears throat> I, you know i think it's um uh, i I've, I've been trying to read uh i hate reading uh, <laughs> Audible is pretty rad, so yeah. I've been reading some books lately. Uh, um, you know, just trying to just be a better person. You know, um, I'm gonna be 40 this year, uh, which is the big number. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's all about how you feel inside, though. True. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's it's taken me. I've always felt like behind the curve um, with a lot of things, socially. Um, emotionally, uh, you know, I, I wish that I could have been, you know, when I hit 30, I could have, you know, been more explorative. Mm-hmm. Is that a word? Yeah, I think so. I want to use new words every day. <laughs> um, Write your own dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is now a word. Um, so yeah, I, I've been trying to just be, uh, better about things like the way I react to things. Um, you know, I have a, have a healthy track record of, um, or unhealthy track record of, you know, just sort of reacting emotionally, Mm -hmm. um, making emotional decisions, making decisions based on fear, um, decisions based on money. And none of that stuff is good for you. Um, you know, so I try to make informed decisions. So I try to research, look things up instead of going, ah, fuck that. Or yeah, let's do that. I go, well, hold on. Let me, let me check. Give me, give me a data. You know, I, they say sleep on it. Some people doesn't work. I feel like that works for me. Yeah. Um, you know, because if you hear something and you get and you react and then you're like, oh no, no way. You know, but it might be a good idea, you know? Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to be more like that. Like just, yeah, I've been uh, looking into uh, stoicism, um, how to remain calm, even when shit's hitting the fan, mm-hmm. uh, you know, approaching life from a more um, ob- observant perspective, uh, more, um, more of a positive perspective. You know, I, I, uh, one of the stories in this book was that uh, Thomas Edison, um, had like a decade worth of work and he went home and like an hour later, some, some guy ran to it and knocked on his door and was like, Hey, your whole place is on fire. Like his whole lab. Um, and instead of freaking out and be like, Oh my God, I'm losing everything. He like called people or I don't, did they have phones back then? I think they might've. Working on the light bulb, right? Yeah. Um, so he gets a hold of people and say, Hey, come on down, let's watch this blaze. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, like he brought marshmallows, you know? Like 
and he didn't and then the next day he just started rebuilding it's like you know to have that control right over yourself and not just completely lose it um and become suicidal because you just lost 10 years worth of data um i can't even imagine uh so i'm trying to get there you know um the moment when my hard drive fails and you know what i mean and that will be the, the edison moment and i'll go okay all right well i'll just get a new hard drive i guess and we'll just re-record this stuff you know it's like yeah obviously that would be awful because you know there's a lot of people depending on me <laughs> right <laughs> not my projects necessarily um valley who'll just re-record but yeah i would hate <laughs> that, ugly that they lost their entire album <clears throat> yeah that, that would be that would be quite unfortunate but it, it would be an edison moment i suppose an edison test of the you know it's like all right howie are you following these stoic principles are you gonna are you gonna just be calm or are you gonna sort of react emotionally because i i guess it sort of comes down to it. you said you're sort of behind the curve on these things i think you're ahead of the curve because most people even at the age of 40 don't have that figured out i mean there's a lot of talk about like you hear uh, like it's sort of a meme but like karen's right I, i'm sure you've seen that we're like yeah. you know <laughs> that's uh, i mean that's such a huge thing right now people just losing their minds over a lot of it's simple simple small things so in an edison moment if their whole life's work is burning to the ground i think that would cause most people over the edge and i think just that awareness of having a response base as a, like response and calming base as opposed to reacting quickly and feeling like his emotions are normal like it's 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 you know, you're going to immediately have a reaction to something, like regardless of what you train yourself to do. But like having the awareness to be like, okay, I'm not going to react in anger or sadness or, you know, having that and just choosing to respond instead. I think that's true. That's what true power is. That's what true empowerment over your life is. Because then you can roll with the tides in a way. You can, like when we have this, quarantine like we were saying you can choose to go with the flow and be who you're going to be despite what's going on so i think that's power i'd say you're ahead of the curve because most people don't have that figured out i don't talk to a lot of people like i'm you know working in schools i wish all teachers had that response type of system because the people in charge of our children are you know they they react like crazy and that there's sort of like a I think if we're just very, we're taught at a young age, that's what's demonstrated to us. So people, as they grow older, just kind of double down on that ideology. And it takes, it takes a conscious effort to change that mindset. It takes a, like, we have to be willing to want to respond to life. And it can be harder to do. It's much easier to just react and get pissed, but <laughs> you know, that's, that's normal. Um, they, you know, it's, uh, it's not about, um, you can of course have emotions. You don't need to be, they say, you don't need to be like a stat, like a statue, like right. a, a cold statue. You're gonna have feelings and, you know, because at that point you're probably like a sociopath or something. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's more about, um, it's more about, uh, <clears throat> not freaking out about the things you can't control um, and, and being concerned with the things you can control. So the things you can control, and it does take development, it takes time to, 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 to do this and learn this, but your emotions, you can, you can like, uh, why would you want to feel anything but good yeah. all the time? Um, and so uh, it's it's about learning how to just go, okay, well, you know, you can't control the weather, you know, if it's a rainy day and you, you planned a picnic. Okay, you can't be mad at the weather, right? It's just, it's something, okay, well, I guess, you know, <clears throat> we can do something else. Let's let's make it a movie day, right. you know, or something. Like, you have to flip it. You got to flip it on itself. Um, and sort of, you know, life ebbs and flows and, uh you know so you know it's just again it's about how you perceive things it's uh you know 
when you, when you look at it, um, I'm reading a book right now because um, called uh, "The Obstacle Is the Way," okay. and a fan sent me this, book. and you should check it out. It's it's great. It's uh, I sent it to my brother. <clears throat> I've been playing I'm it for that down. Obstacle yeah. is the way. I've uh, shown it to my fiance as well. I'm like, you gotta listen to this. Uh, Ryan Holiday is the author, and he, basically the book is um, it sums up to be uh, when you're presented with a challenge, an obstacle. Um, you see it as an opportunity, not a roadblock. Mm -hmm. So when many people would fold and go home, you go, no, 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 I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to, I'm going to work with this. It's like uh, mental judo or something. You mm -hmm. use the, you use the force against itself. You, mm -hmm. you use its own momentum against it and, and flip it and, and win, you know, right. Uh, fight um and i just love that idea and uh you know so pandemic happens you start doing live streams you know right With the internet if, we, if the internet goes down i'm not sure what we would do but we'd figured it out we'd find something we'd find something we would go perform on the street socially distance or something you know like i don't know we we would do something um absolutely you know that would be fucking chaos if you know <laughs> that's that's the only thing that's connecting people right now realistically i mean imagine a like a pandemic without the age of the internet like th there would be no do the spanish flu went like was it two years or four years or something like I think that? so yeah um, like shut down i mean i don't know what they did exactly but yeah <laughs> people weren't people were probably not talking to each other because that was truly deadly everyone that got it died you know? right exactly yeah <laughs> uh you know um so what do you do i mean people don't you know you can't expect people to uh to appreciate that you know when it's something it was completely different generation it was what a hundred years ago yeah no one was around like you know you can't appreciate the, the, what we have now um, but it's like, you got to think about that. It's like, you know, when people think of, when they talk about the mass and like, Oh, it's my freedom and fucking, uh, you know, it, yeah. it hurts my face. It's like, I can't breathe. Like, bro, like nurses and doctors are wearing these things all day long, right. and bruises on their face, you know, saving lives. And you're complaining about 15 minutes in the grocery store. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I don't know that it just blows my mind. And the people yeah. that, the data is there and like things come out every day. I can't believe I'm going into this again. <laughs> data is there. There's experiments coming out every week. There's charts. There's people like Bill Nye's talking. He's blown on a fucking candle in different masks, showing you that he cannot blow the candle out through a mask, mm. demonstrating that your spit is not going to get into someone's mouth. Right. It's just right. Things like that. It's like it's right in front of your face, but you refuse, you refuse to accept it. For That's... whatever reason. And now the president flips and he's like, oh, everybody should wear a mask. He's trying to get them voters. <laughs> it's all, it, when, it, when it comes to the president, it all gets political. Like it, I feel like the whole thing, the whole pandemic has become politicized in a way though. But that's just, yeah. and it's, it's crazy to think about how we, there's so much division that we want to even divide an issue where we should be coming together and there should be unity. You know, I actually just, I just talked to someone the other, it was probably about a week ago on this podcast who, who ran for Congress. He's, um, he was, he ran against John Lewis in the primary who just so happened to pass away. Um, but he's not going to get to end up being the nominee. But uh, anyways, he was talking about the differences that exist between people on like, let's say the left wing and the right wing. Like a lot of the issues all these people are facing are so similar, right? Like people in poverty in rural areas and people in poverty in urban areas, like their, their issues are so similar, yet we just, we choose to divide ourselves by the slightest differences and anything can become politicized and anything can become, uh, you know, divisive. So anytime there's any sort of conflict, we, we, we just look to, instead of trying to find ways to come together, we just look to divide and we usually divide along those political lines because that's easy that's like what you know the most obvious uh i guess difference you could say that we we've chosen to divide by 
but it's crazy. I think our human nature is to be like, it's, it's unity. It's like compassion for one another. But I think we've been taught to seek out differences instead of seeking out common, uh, you know, what, what would make you and I similar? You know, there's probably, there's so much, but if we could, if we wanted to, we could choose to find slightest differences and divide ourselves by it. But what's the point of that? It just causes more hatred and division. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it, it seems so simple. You know, the, the solution. Um, one would think. <laughs> one would think. Uh, yeah. It's just so, uh, you know, the, there's money tied up and yeah. it, we could go down a total rabbit hole with this yeah. right now, but yeah. many rabbit holes probably, but um, <laughs> It's like whenever whenever someone says, why don't they do this? Why? It's like, we all know the answer. Why? We, yeah. It's like, but it's just, it's so like hard to wrap your brain around like how people can be this way. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm talking about our, our leaders and people that make the laws and shit. It's like, it's, it's like, there's a whole bubble there in DC and there's no, um, they don't care about anything, but yeah. moving up and making money and, uh, writing books and shit. It's just, you know, getting book deals. I don't, I don't know. Just, how, how does, how has any of these, how has any of these policies uh, worked for the average person um, right. that, you know, these, these voters that love this guy so much, how has his policies worked for them? And <laughs> they have it. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't understand. Like, what do you love this guy so much for? He hasn't helped you at all. He doesn't even care about you. Yeah. You know, um, it, it's just, it's crazy. It's, crazy. it's craziness, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Politics is a whole, a whole rabbit hole in itself. And yeah. it's, it's one I don't bring up too much on the show for a, a few different yeah, reasons. <laughs> Look, man, I just feel like, you know, I, as Americans, it's like, sometimes we gotta, we gotta speak up a little bit and um, Absolutely. You know, these platforms and maybe we should say something here and there. I, I'm also, you know, I'm on the side of, you know, I'm an, I'm an artist. So like, I understand my, my purpose, uh, you know, when I put out content and, and things and when you grow this brand and it's become, become known for, for a certain thing, you know, it'd be different if I was a, you know, if I did a podcast about political stuff or my YouTube channel was all political, of course, right. but musician, it's like, you're there to take people away and escape. But, you know, also there, I feel like there's a, there's a human of course, element to this. I mean, it's all human issues that we're dealing with and, uh, yeah. You know, so I'm just saying the way I feel about things sometimes, you know, it's, it, of course. It, 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 I get them, put a microphone in front of me and things come out, I guess, but <laughs> no, same here. It's same here. I we, mean, it, it's, it's important. It's important a, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're in the fifth dimension right now. Yes, we are. We are on the fifth dimension and I actually did want to bring up. So, and you talked about like human issues and human I, th I like human, what's the right word? Humanitarian. I, th I view you as like a humanitarian, like mindset in a sense, a lot with your music too. Cause I think you bring up a lot of human issues and a lot of things that are, um, you know, with like your new album, like message to the world with fighter, like what, like, what is that sort of like creative process, I guess, look like, because I view it as like an in inspiring for a lot of people and sending out a positive message about being your own individual self and unique self and finding way. Like, I think if a lot of people took the message from that, we would solve a lot of the issues we have in the world because we'd have a lot of individual empowered people. So, I mean, what, it, like, what sort of, what, you know, what was the creative process like and what, you know, how, how do you feel, with the album being out for, I think it's been about a month now. Um, you know, what, two months, I think. A month or two, yeah. I, I love the album, by the way. Like, <laughs> it's fantastic. Wow, man. Uh, no, I think, you know, with all these newly found, like, uh, I don't know, these new realizations I've been having, you know, the last couple of years, mm -hmm. um, it just made me think about life a lot and how we, uh, you know, you, you said it earlier that how we're sort of programmed uh, from an early age, which, which we are, you know, we're, we're, we're made to be workers, you know, we're supposed to be worker bees um, for, you know, when, when these, you know, the people that we, that we vote in and things like that, they work for us. Mm -hmm. um, yet they somehow make the rules. 
and you know we get a say but you know do we really uh, right. so you know but there's ways to there are ways to get around that um and not be so feel like such a prisoner um and i guess i've just been trying to get people to to wake up um and this isn't some like re rebel against the government type of thing i'm not trying to say that i'm i'm trying to say uh improve yourself um it's you know you can be whatever you want to be you really can and I, and i was told you know just like every other kid you can do whatever you want but then when it came time you know like end of high school you start getting the call from i got i kept getting the call from sergeant james trying to get me to join the army mm -hmm. 17 um you know trying to get me to sign up and and uh then it's like where are you going to college you know like my grandparents and um you know, friends of friend, friends of my parents, stuff like, where are you going to college? You know, what are you thinking about? You know, I'm like, I don't want to go to college. I'm like, what? No, that's, right. that's really, you got to go to college. I'm like, no, like, I don't think I have to. I want to be in a band. I want to, I want to make music and be on MTV, you know, and they're like, you know, and MTV was a thing in the 90s, kids, uh, where you right. um, watch music videos and it was awesome. Um, and, uh, and they're like, oh, that's, that's crazy. The, you know, you, you know how hard that is it's that's almost impossible I'm, I'm i'm like looking at looking at the tv i'm like well they're doing it why can't i do it you know um i, I remember getting the cd uh, uh disc makers um when cds were you know it was impossible to make a cd you had to, it was like three thousand dollars to press a thousand of them oh wow like, i don't have three thousand dollars i was like 15 years old <laughs> and um you know just like just be, i'm gonna make a cd one day and it's gonna look like this and I have my art you know and my grandmother's like, oh, honey, you know, and it's just like that. It's like, so, you know, a few years ago, it was, you could do whatever you want. And now it's like, oh, where are you going to college? Where are you going to work? You got to get a job. Like, right. And I don't want to do that. I want to play in the fucking sandbox. I'm going to make my own sandbox, you know? And um, <clears throat> so I I'm glad that I stuck to my guns. Um, I'm glad that I, I, I wrote it out. Um, because now we're in an age where we're in, we're in an era that, that it is possible to, to make yourself, um, you know, it's, it's always been possible to make yourself, but now more than ever. And, right. um, I'm just trying to help people realize that I, you know, um, it's like, I, I, w I want people to see that, that they don't have to live by the rules that were made for them. Um, the cookie cutter lifestyle. And uh, I say all this in the, that song, Fighter, but, and the message to the world is more of a traveling inward kind of song. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like Fighter is like the, be a go-getter, you know, yeah. um, don't, don't listen to, uh, don't listen to your peers and don't worry about what they're trying to say. Um, you know, people are going to tell you that it's impossible and, and it's not impossible. It's, it's all about how driven you are to do it and make it happen and then message to the world is like traveling inward and, and trying to improve yourself educate yourself like education as i've come to realize even more and more education is the most important thing um and a lot of us don't have it right and you know those higher ups like it that way um i think they prefer us to be poor and stupid and sick yep 100 percent. and uh and you know, you get around that by learning things. And, you know, it's like, you know, one, one example, uh, I had for, for year, I don't know, as long as I can remember, I've, I've had like, um, get like ulcers in my gums. I know my diet's not great, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a part of a shitty diet, but, um, you get those like random ulcers in your gums and shit or on the side of your tongue or something. It just sucks. Mm -hmm. I would get them like every two to three weeks. I'll just have them. And, so I started getting fed up and I got one really bad and I couldn't eat for like two weeks. It sucked. Um, so I started researching like, okay, what is this? How can I take care of this without taking a pill, you know, or taking out like some, or some like prescribed bullshit that's going to long-term kill me. Um, and, uh, isn't going to cost an arm and a leg cause you know, the healthcare system. Um, so like <clears throat> I started looking it up and I, I kind of deduced it to like, oh, maybe I need to get, B12. Maybe I need to take B12. Maybe I have like a deficiency or something. I don't know. So, um, I started taking B12 and sure enough, 
within a few weeks, I stopped getting the, the mm. things. Um, and now I'm like two years in or something like that. And I'm, I rarely get them. All right. I, I do get them. They're very, very minimal. Um, and it stopped. It's cause I did research. I went, I went online because it's all there. You know, you just got to dig around and cross reference. A hundred percent. And it's like, I didn't have to go to the doctor, uh, spend a bunch of money getting a prescription, you know, to, that I'll have to take forever. I just take B12 every day. That's it. Um, you know, same thing with, with my allergies. I, I, I would used to get sinus infections and instead of freaking out and going to the doctor and, you know, trying to, <laughs> you see what, you know, pay some for some prescription. I just take uh lorat loratadine every day at 10 milligrams. It's very simple. I don't know, man. You know, I'm not saying that's going to work for everything. There's certain ailments that you're going to have to right. go for, but it's upon yourself and getting it done. And, um, you know, I know I've kind of gone off on a weird tangent, but no, but that's, it, it ties in well. I mean, it's, it's, it ties into sort of being, getting into the mindset of being your own advocate and taking charge of your situation. And I, I like the, the messages of uh, message to the world and fighter. Like when you can, it, it represents almost sort of the balance that is needed when you look at both of those songs to do just that. Like you do have to sort of have an inward reflective approach on, you know, where you've been in the past, who you are now, like what it is that you want to do. And so you can send your own message out into the world, but also, you know, not giving in to specific societal pressures or norms or uh, expectations others have of you. And, you know, you talk about when you're a kid being told you can do whatever you want to do. Like I remember being told that too, but as soon as I remember getting to, uh, you know, senior year of high school and it's like, okay, where are you going to college? And I had to make a decision like that. And I ended up going and I don't regret my education, but what I, what I learned from, college is that like and i would say i actually learned it after college like after i got my education um is that education and educating yourself doesn't necessarily mean in a school setting it means a willingness to research and you know do reading and and sort of have a a, a, a reproach to the world where you're willing to learn and try new things and explore i mean so i mean i know you have uh two young kids like what as like a father, how does that, like when you, when you look at the, like them and, you know, future generations, how do you like try and instill like this sort of mindset and approach and like bring this to like, does, do you have like a sort of a new perspective on it when you look at it from that sense and like how you can, um, you know, bring that encouragement of being who you want to be? <clears throat> yeah, man. I tell my kids almost every day, um, you know, yeah be what you want you know but you got to work for it mm -hmm. like you got to be you got to be real you know you have to be focused and driven to do the thing you want to do <clears throat> if look my son's you know he wanted to be a youtuber now he's he's he kind of been flaking on that a little bit he wants to be a gamer you know like he's a kid he's going to change his mind a lot i totally get that right cool man you want to be a gamer play games and you know he plays fortnite but you know, there. I try to make him understand. Like, look, you have schoolwork too. Like, you can't just play video games all day long. It's just you got to do school. You know, like right. get through school. I don't push him to go to college. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you're gonna go to college. If you want to go to college, yeah, let's talk about that. You know, when when the time comes. I believe that there's things that you need to go to college for. You know, lawyer, doctor, teacher, yeah. probably. Um, but there's a lot of things you don't need to go to college for. And um, you can save yourself tens of thousands of dollars, you know, by going oh, yeah. to YouTube and paying pay 100 bucks a year for, you know, Skillshare or something. Right. And, and but, you know, and, and doing like doing the thing, excuse me, doing the thing that you want to do, like you got to get experience. It's like they say bartender school ruins you as a bartender. Yeah. Um. I never went to bartending school, but it's, it, I can see how that would, like, mm -hmm. you need to be in the situation, you know, you can't, 
you can't videos you have to drive you have to drive the car you have yeah. to understand yeah. you know what the how, what it is how fast it is when you press the acceleration accelerator like when you know the the brake like making turns you have to experience it you have to feel it and i feel the same thing about anything it's like you know if you want to be in a band don't watch youtube videos on how to be a band just start a fucking band you know and just do it um and uh you know i i just my, my kids my, my daughter she's a she sings she performs i'm all about it man i feel like she's going to be some type of artist she just loves it so much and and we want to figure out how to uh, nurture that and develop it i think parents should support their kids when they say they want to be a youtuber or you know don't shut them down you know kids have these amazing um imaginations yeah and it's like we just shut them down like you can't yeah, yeah. that's that's crazy to me um no nah, man let them dream let them let them have it but you have to they, you have to make them understand that like look if you want this if you really want to do this you have to work hard for it you can't just you got to be about it and um you know i had a I had a, like a ex-girlfriend years ago she wanted to be a photographer she's like i'm a photographer i'm like you never take pictures of anything like you need to take pic photographers take pictures of stuff like what do you you know she barely got the camera out it's like you, you got to be about that life um and uh if you're gonna, if it, as long as you're focused and driven, you can you can do whatever you want, and that's that's what I tell my kids. I also tell my kids, you know, there's like he's like, well, I only got, you know, one follower today, or I got, I got ten likes on the video, or ten views, or whatever. I'm like, so what? Make better content. Yeah. You know, I tell him, you got to be honest with him. Like, yeah. Make good shit, dude. Like, you know, I'll tell him plain English, dude. You got to make good stuff, like people aren't going to watch if it's not good and it's not about his feelings it's about you know the market it's about how right you know uh and you may spend hours working on that video and it might only get 10 or 20 views sorry you know just you got to keep going it's it's not about yeah i, I would i tell him all the time you got to play the long game you know 100%. it's something that happens over years not you know and look uh people can blow up overnight it, it's true people, it's definitely happened it has absolutely happened it is totally possible that post malone was like i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna put this song up uh, whatever <laughs> you wake up and you're famous right that's happened that's that's a hap that's a thing that that happened um but it the, the likelihood of that is like it's the, it's crazy to think you know right the odds are the odds are not our, in our favor on that one yeah yeah it's totally possible it's definitely possible but it, it most likely you're gonna have to work really hard for it and um i just feel like you know if you're willing to stick it out uh you know then look i'm I'm living proof that it's been a quarter century and you know finally i'm paying bills with music and we have a catalog that uh works for us when i when we're sleeping you know um it's you know i have songs in the catalog that are that are being streamed all the time that are that are making money for for me and the guys um and we're not and we're just sitting you know when we're watching netflix or something you know like right. we created this passive income um but you know it's bec it's a result of doing it for so long just consistently consistently putting things out and what i feel is like good stuff good content um things that resonate and touring and just all the other work and making making the right decisions making the wrong decisions you know just uh it's it's all a result of all these things and um 25 years you know and i'm not where i want to be yet i i, I don't think i ever be more where i want to be because i just see myself always striving yeah for something else um reaching new uh new goals and stuff but um you know it's 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 totally possible and i've seen so many bands just drop out um like flies you know and uh i once heard a band say that was kind of popular little rock band around here years ago just a local band um they were quitting they were, they were having their last show and matt davis he's like he's one of the radio guys 
the station. He, it was a radio interview, and he's like, he's like, well, why? What's, you know, he's like, ah, you know, we just felt like we took it as far as we could. It's like, did you? Mm-hmm. Did you take it as far as you could? Probably not. It's one of those moments where you get that high, but did, did you take it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right chances are probably not did you tour did you i mean and when i say tour i don't mean like did you go play in virginia a couple times i'm saying did you go to california did you go to florida did you go to texas um right did you i don't know uh you know and maybe they felt like they did but if you if if i quit today it would be too soon you know right. 25 years later if i quit It'd be too soon. Right. You know, um, you just, you always, and, and, and that's the thing too. If, if you love the thing that you're doing, then you don't care how long it takes. You, because you just love the thing. You, you're, you're happy. And um, I'm, I guess I'm extra happy because, you know, I'm actually, I've monetized it. I've, it's become a career that I don't have to work a job. Like a, you know, I don't want right. to, my, my whole goal was to not work for anybody else. Yeah. True right. entrepreneur right there. Yeah. I wanted to be my own boss and you know, I just didn't want to answer to anybody. And, um, and we've carved out our little space and, and it's, uh, it feels nice, you know, and there's still plenty of room to grow. And so now I just try to tell people, um, you know, I, I just try to inspire people to, to make that choice for themselves. Absolutely. You got to want to do it though. Absolutely. And it's about embracing the journey, you know, and you talked about totally. maybe you only get 10 likes or something early on or the video. Like, I'm sure if you went back and listened to, like, let's say we went back and listened to Ballyhoo from 25 years ago. Like, would you, would you find it like cringe at all? Or would like, what would like, so, I mean, there's, I think there's that natural like growth, that natural evolution, right. Of where maybe at first you aren't that you aren't where you want to be and you're still sort of finding your niche in a way. So that sort of requires exploration and a willingness to embrace that. You only get 10 likes, I guess you, you get viewers, you get fans, you get people who support your work one person at a time. So the very beginning you can't i guess you can't expect to even have that like you know passive income right away either like you still have to naturally grow that and allow that to be um come with time i suppose but you got to get rid of the expectations yeah um, you know or lower them at best um you can't you can't go in thinking anything you just make your best stuff you put your best stuff forward best foot forward um, and you just, you keep moving, you know, don't dwell. Like, of course, you know, you want people to watch your videos. You want people to listen to the songs. You want people to stream and you want people to love this stuff. Um, you know, we're lucky enough to, we have an audience that we, when we drop new shit it usually is received really well. And I try to focus, you know, I try not to put out stuff that is under par, you know, some things that aren't, uh, I, I focus on quality. I don't just put out everything, you know. Right. Um, at the same time, I'll I'll put up a half song, something I'm working on, acoustic guitar, just on Instagram. Be like, what do you think of this? Or check this out, you know. Cause that that's fun. Um, but as far as the final product, we try to make the best thing we can and put it out and try to put out quality stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, okay, there it is. What's yeah, next? Yeah. You know, 100%, 100%. And you know, 20, 25 years from now, maybe you'll be looking back at <laughs> like 2020 <laughs> and it'll be like, wow, I'm when I'm 65. <laughs> hey, you know, there's still, when how, old are the, how old are the Rolling Stones right now? <laughs> They're fucking hundreds, aren't they? <laughs> Dinosaur age. I mean, they've been around since what? The sixties for them, man. <laughs> that is, dude, that's a dream. And honestly, man, they still look pretty good. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Richards. I don't know how Keith Richards is still alive, but you know, he, he he's, keeps going. He's probably alive from all the smoking cigarettes and drugs. I mean, I think it's, if you do a lot of it, then 
it's the opposite. It, it gives you the opposite effect. It gives you like this vitality in a, in a way. Yeah, it's like that's, that becomes how you, that's what you survive on. That's how you live, you know, whereas the rest of us is like water, healthy diet. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't think too much about the future i do you know i try i try not to do like the where am i going to be in five years ten years right. i try not to do that i do think about like okay i got to start putting trying to put money away for a house or, or something you know like I'm, I'm getting married next year i'm supposed to get married in this september but you know mm -hmm. covid so we had to move it and um so i get married next year but so like i've got i'm trying to i got to take care of that and then i'm trying to you know i really i've kind of been fixated lately on getting i want to buy a house for the first time i've never bought a house i'm always renting and mm -hmm. i just need my own place my goal is to be um like i said earlier is I, I want to be a record producer uh with my own spot like i've got this little production studio in my basement but i want to be able to do drums i want to do the full thing um right. so i want to have a separate building from the house that you know i don't have to have clients coming over walking through the house um you know keep that privacy and then uh have a, a dope spot out back that's vibey and just a big you know live room and control room and uh lounge area couches and fridge and table and stuff tv whatever i, w I want that and so you know uh, i need to step my game up i gotta i gotta do some more live streams make some money <laughs> <laughs> i gotta i gotta play I gotta, you know, I, I've been thinking about it lately. It's like I got, I got to get some more production jobs. I want to become a better producer. I want to become a better mm -hmm. mixer. I want to become undeniable uh, to where people have to come to me yeah. to get their shit done. Like I, I want bands to go, yo, we got to go see Howie. Like he's going he's gonna to knock it out of the park. And we're going to pay him handsomely, handsomely for it. You yes. know what I mean? Like, <laughs> 100%. Um, yeah, man. It's, 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 it's what I, and I feel like I can get there. Um, I'd say so. And uh, yeah, it's just going to take time. And I, 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 I realize that. I know it's not going to happen next week or next year even. Um, but you know, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm taking, uh, taking on more artists. I, there's definitely more artists approaching me lately uh, to, to work with them. Um, I'm trying to get more full album stuff. Yeah. Uh, because I like to be involved from the, from the ground up. I like to be immersed, and just really, like I said, help the band find their you know the sound that put out the thing that they want to put out like the, whatever they have in their head i'm trying to like help them realize that yeah 100 um, percent uh yeah. Yeah, embrace man. and it's about that journey to to get to that point of being the producer being the guy i mean like i would i mean i like i look at you now from my perspective i'm like wow how he's a successful guy look at he does this he does that and like even when you have like like a perceived like people perceive you as successful even the people who are successful why they're successful is because they're constantly looking to grow and evolve even more and you know i think when we and it's great to be you know grateful for the things we have now like i think that's ultimately what's most important but at the same time within that gratitude having the awareness to say I know I can keep going to the next spot. I know I have the ability to grow. Because when we, when we get kind of complacent, things stagnate and we are, become resistant to change. And it's, I, I think complacency is the ultimate, uh, I don't know if I know the right word for it. It goes beyond my vocabulary in English. But like, you know, complacency and it kind of creates stagnation. So I, and I think that growth mindset we can become who we're meant to be. You have to, you have to, um, you have to embrace the future. Don't fight it. Embrace technology. Bands that I see out there protesting streaming and saying, buy the CDs. Shut up. Stop <laughs> doing, get rid of that. Embrace streaming. Stop pushing pre-orders on iTunes. Push the pre-save. This is what it is. Um, you know, streaming on spotify is the way and um it helps your band in more ways than you probably know and 
uh, way more than selling a CD. Yes, the CD is going to put 10 bucks in your pocket or the gas tank or whatever, but that's it. You know, there's no, it does nothing for you after that point. You cannot think about money. You, you have to, every time you, every time you stream on Spotify, the more streams you get, the more pre-saves you have on release day, um, the algorithm picks it up and then it pushes it out to new listeners and more and more people and fans that didn't know you had a song coming out, stuff like that. Like that, how do you not see the value in that? You know, right. yes, the pay sucks. They're hopefully going to adjust that in a couple of years. We'll see maybe, but, um, that's not the point. It's it. The point is getting music heard because the music is going to get people to your shows and they're going to buy t-shirts and they're going to tell their friends and they're going to bring them back next time. And they're going to buy a t-shirt. You understand like that, that is how this works. The music gets the people to your show, to your live event. It's promotion, you know? Yeah. 100%. About CDs for free. <laughs> right. We just go, Hey, this is our band. Check us out. You right. know, that's what it's for. You know, back in the day we would spend 20 grand making a record and give it away for free. You know, we, we sell it of course, but like we'd be on the street and I just throw it out to people. You know, we'd make samplers and stuff like, right. Yeah. It costs us a lot of money to make this, but you know, that's not the point. The Getting point it out there. You pay the money. So it sounds good. Right. You know, and it's a good representation of, of what we are and what, what you're going to see. If you, hopefully you come to the show and, um, you know, that's what, that's essentially what you're doing now. When I send you a Spotify link of my band, um, you know, check us out it's the show sometime. The same thing as th throwing somebody a physical CD and having them check it out. Yeah, you have to you have to look at it for what it is. You know, it's like it's a different platform. It's a different kind of technology. The way we do it's different, but the, it's all the same. Like the fundamental thing is like, I want you to hear my, my band. Yeah. 100%. You know, this, this is how you hear my band now. This is how we do it. Um, right. You know, and mo more often than not, people are going to buy the CD. They're going to have the band sign at the merch table. And they're gonna toss it on the dash and listen on Spotify on the way home. It, you know, you have to you have to wake up and realize this stuff. Stop fighting it. If right. you fight, you're gonna fail. You're gonna lose. You need you know you need to adapt. When the pandemic happened, people didn't have their their live stream shit set up. You know, like that's why you you, you could go on Amazon and you couldn't get one of these. Amazon are these cam link Elgato things video capture for less than 400 bucks when they're like 150 160 or something like that. I think I got this for like 130 actually before, oh, wow. before the pandemic because I was already on top of it I was already like you know I think I need to do more more live stuff and I started and and, and make more videos and I started doing that last year and then all of a sudden the pandemic happens and everybody starts scrambling because they weren't ready right you gotta be looking ahead. You gotta be always thinking about the future and, and embracing the new tech and like using the new apps, you know? And, and if you're not savvy, get savvy. Or if someone in your band needs to be savvy, you need to be a content creator who plays music. Right. Absolutely. Ultimately, look, we've always been content creators. You know, That's it's true. just not what we called it. Our content is music, right? We write songs, we put out songs. Yeah. That's but you've also, bands have made music videos for decades, you know? So you have to, you're a content creator. Yeah. You're just in the audio space. Right. And, and so you need to, that, you need to be that first. Um, and you need to get on and talk about the process. Talk about how you made the song. Give people an inside peek, you know? Create a fan group on Facebook and, and, and get in there. Don't just... You know, let the fans create it. Let them have it. Let it let it be their thing. You don't run it. I don't run mm -hmm. a Bally Hooligans page. That's run by several admins, you know, like, um, and, I, you know, things just kind of, it's a natural thing that just happens. You know, Flows. it's like Habitat and they just, they just do the thing. And I jump in there. I'm usually in there every day. Like, what's up guys? Or like, hey, what'd you think of that, that t-shirt design? Or how's that fit? Or um, what kind of merch do you guys want? Or, Hey, what'd you think of that song? Or check out this new song I'm working on. Like, I don't know, man, it's, there's, there's so many ways to grow that I think bands just aren't thinking of. Right. Definitely. There's ways to connect. We have all these, these great ways to connect. I could talk about this for hours. So cut me off whenever. But... <laughs> no, I love it. I mean, it's, it's so it's, you're spot on. And I think it's relevant for, 
you know, not even just bands too, but you talked about like YouTubers and people who stream games or, you know, podcasting. Like we're in an age of connectivity. Like I, I think we all are innately interconnected as people anyways, but we have this great technology to bring us even closer with, you know, inst- like you could, I could post on Instagram uh, a, a clip of my podcast and in theory, anybody in the world can watch that. Now, is everybody in the world going to watch that? Probably not, but like you, you're putting, you put out content, you put out, um, you have the ability to put out what you yourself are like representative of with your, con- like as a content creator. You are in control. Exactly. And it's, it's unfortunate that I guess money kind of equates to freedom in the world right now, in a sense, and it's very difficult to monetize that. But I feel like the field itself for content creation and music and stream, you know, streaming and, and all of these different avenues, I feel like that's only going to continue to evolve in ways that benefit the content creator. And like, I, I feel like that's the future is entrepreneurship in that regard. And I, I think it's going to continue, continually grow. I, I, it's impossible to predict how per se, but you can be a step or two ahead and realize what you can and do, what you can do here and now to be better. Um, and like, you know, you talked about a year ago wanting to do more live streams and videos and lo and behold, there came a time where everybody needs to do live streams and videos. Just being on top of it, um, I think it keeps you up to speed with that evolution and that growth because you are constantly looking to grow and change and be the best version uh, of yourself and put out the best content. So, uh, freedom, freedom is making your own money, not making money for someone else, yes. not being an employee. Freedom is owning your own stuff, doing what you want creating your own life that's freedom and and making the same money that you would make working at walmart where you work now or working you know in an office you know ultimately when you're working in an office building you're probably not it's it's not your name on on the wall or on the on the letterhead right right that is freedom freedom is getting away from that and and creating your own carving your own space um, in society and in, in, uh, you know, um, and the only way to do that is to, is to realize, you know, realize that dream, realize that, you know, and look, some people are totally happy just going to a, to a normal job and, and working and providing for their family and, and having that, the nine to five life and having their nights and Netflixing and, you know, going to dinner regularly and things like that. I, I don't know. That's fine, man. That's totally right. fine. If you're someone that you're not happy with where you're at. You're, you don't like your job. Um, you hate your boss. You hate the people you work with, you know, um, and you've got this idea, man, you just pursue it, you know, but it's, you know, and you got to pay the bills, you know, real life happens, man. But like, stop going out, stop watching Netflix, stop, you know, work on the thing because it takes time, but one day you'll be able to flip it and you can quit the job. You know, uh, you might take a pay cut, but are you going to be happier? Are you going to be happier that I go, Oh, I'm going to go make some coffee and go sit down and fucking write my book or, you know, work on my, you know, or, or make a video talking about marshmallows. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's, it's, it is crazy how uh, possible that is. Right. You just have to have imagination and drive to do it. And don't be so fucking scared. Stop being scared. Yes. You know? <laughs> the fear. Fear is what is what holds all of us back from Nobody the matters. Nobody matters. To 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 whatever it is you want to do, just go do it, man. Don't worry about what your you know wife or your husband or your brother is gonna say. Like just fucking do it. Do what makes you happy. You know, one hundred percent people, but you know. yeah, be be compassionate, be loving, be open about your own process and your own needs, and yeah. just do what you need to do. Yeah, man, you, you don't have to live by other people's rules and um, play in their sandbox. You 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 build your own sandbox. 
create your own sandbox. That's, that's definitely my goal. <laughs> that's definitely my life goal. I respect yeah. that. You're doing it. I, I, <clears throat> I think this is great. You're doing a podcast. You're in the band. Like it's like you're doing something for you. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. It's that's the, you know, and that's, it's one of those things where I do, I do these things and wherever it takes me, hopefully it lead, it, I know eventually it leads to the creation of my own sandbox, however that's going to look. So that's sort of the, you know, long term. That's all you can, that's all you can ask for, all you can work towards. And I hope people, you know, listen to conversations like these and feel inspired to find their own sandbox and their own talents, their own, like, as you said, it can be a video about marshmallows. Like, it, it doesn't have to be something that's so dumb, but it's true. <laughs> like, you don't have to be the lead singer of a band to be your own boss, to be your own, you know, create your own life like this. Nope. So it's, yeah, you, you can, you can have the life you want. You just, you have to work for it. You got to be driven. It's not, you know, <clears throat> there's that book, uh, the secret. And, um, I never, I've never read the book, but I watched that video about it. And, um, you know, it's like, Oh, and it's kind of driven about like materialistic. You want that house? Oh, you want that car? And it's like, don't, <laughs> that's kind of the wrong message for me. Right. It's just like, uh, don't set up like ridiculous goals, but like, um, you know, to me, it's not unreasonable to, to say, you know, I would like to do the thing I want to do and make a decent living. I don't need to be rich. I just want to be able to provide for my family, have a decent place to live. You know, that I don't think that's too unreasonable. Um, but you know, you, you have to be about it, like I said before. And, you know, again, uh, I'm probably beating a dead horse, but, um, you know, it's, it's a dead horse that needs to be beat. <laughs> <laughs> Pummel it. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I just, I just want people to, to realize to, and to see that's all, you know? Absolutely. And you know, the way people see is through conversations like this and this message. It's all about perception. It's all about perception. Our perception creates our reality. So, you know, if Absolutely. we can, when we control the perception, we control reality. Um, so sweet, man. I mean, we're at over an hour fit on a lot of great points. Um, it, where, I mean, I, I feel like the listeners know where to go to find you, but you know, you got any like last thoughts or where you want to send like listeners or just sort of, um, I don't know. Uh, where if you want to, <clears throat> if you want to tune in to more, uh, interesting, hopefully it's interesting, entertaining, maybe stuff like this, uh, go to tales from the green and, uh, check out the podcast, pick your platform. Um, listen over there. I'm on YouTube, Howie Spangler, Instagram, uh, I'm on TikTok. I don't, I'm not much of a dancer, but I'm, I'm trying to figure <laughs> it out. Um, it's probably going away anyway. So yeah, it might be getting banned. You might not have that for very long. <laughs> well, um, HowieSpangler.com got some, got some rad merch up there. I got music on Spotify, Apple everywhere. Um, you know, I just like, I just like making stuff. I think I might be, um, I think the a book is the next thing. Sweet. Uh, there we go. Any ideas for the book? Um, you know, probably just, I'm a big believer in that you need to talk about the things that, you know, otherwise people can see the bullshit, you know, um, Fair enough. I, it's probably just be about how to start a band and how to sort of navigate. Um, and then there's another, I've already got like two books in mind. The other one is going to be like about being a, a traveling person with family and how to, mm how to how to deal with that how to be there when you're not there type of stuff i don't know I thought I, it, but it'd be like a like a fun comedic right. take on it you know about Sweet. being a rock dad or something and i don't know right hey hell yeah i'll look for it at barnes and noble <laughs> yeah 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 Best list no, I, <laughs> I have ideas we'll see if i if i actually go through with it awesome well just shows you're the, the creative mind creative person so Awesome. That's exciting. Um, sweet. Well, thanks again so much for coming on, man. I mean, I really enjoyed chatting uh, as always. This is number two. We'll have to plan out a trilogy sometime. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it to Mordor. Yes. <laughs> 100%. All right. Sweet. And with that, I will get the recording.